I really, and I, I was proud of how hard we played defensively. Um, I, I think, I think our ladies have bought into the fact that we're, we got enough pieces to the puzzle that we can, we can do some things late February, early March. So, uh, Cleveland State's a really, really good team. Um, I, it's been a minute since somebody's held them to 21 points at the half. Like, but our defense was, really was outstanding tonight. Um, ball didn't bounce our way on a, on a few few possessions, but uh, um, I'm disappointed in in, in the loss. Um, and I told him in the locker room, we're not we're not big on moral victories this late in the year, but uh, uh, it's a night and day difference from when we played Cleveland State the first go around. The, in the first half, I mean, obviously, both to have both these defenses and, you know, make it make shots were kind of hard to come by, but you guys had that kind of eight, seven to eight minutes pulling it out. How do you feel like that kind of both what you guys were doing and kind of how this played out? Yeah, I mean, they're good. I mean, they're good at what they do. I mean, we had – really, we had one day prep. Um to get ready for that, and that's incredibly tough to do whenever with the style that they play. Um, so you can't really can't really ask a lot of the the girls to be able to put in a bunch of offensive packages, like individual sets, and expect them to be able to remember that. Um, so we knew that was going to be a problem. So we we focus more on the defensive side and trying to take away stuff that they're they're pretty good at and what they like to do to try to minimize that. We knew it was going to be a low-scoring game if we defended the way we were capable of defending, um, which is three points short. But uh, I mean, it, uh, some of that, some of that was foul trouble, um, but a lot of that was Cleveland State. Coach, what are some positives you can uh, take out of this team heading into this uh, next regular season matchup, counting uh, off the regular season wins? I mean, we're. We're five and two in February, and our two losses are the top two teams in the league. So um, we feel like we're playing pretty good basketball. Um, there were there were moments on the court late that I felt like our the fact we made it it was so close of a game, an intense game. I, I felt like I don't feel like Cleveland State has been um, in those moments here recently. So it seemed like it seemed like that got to them a little bit, but. Uh, um, I mean, the last time we played, I think it was a, they had like a forty-point win, thirty-seven-point win. So um, we certainly didn't play very good basketball that day up at Cleveland. But uh, um, I'm happy with how it looked tonight. You know, on, on that final possession coming out of the timeout, um, what did you guys kind of want to do there on that final play with eleven seconds? Yeah, we we panicked. Um, it, it didn't look like what we drew up. Um, We'll have to we're gonna have to wrap a little bit more late game situations because uh, we we're we we're trying to get a quick pass wing return pass top flash in throw it in skip opposite and we we panicked a little bit and that wasn't what we drew up um, that's a little disappointing but uh, uh, we'll have to fix that pretty quick. Coach. How relieving is that as a coach to know that you can trust your players to hit those big time shots and not have to look Yeah, I mean, they, they rose to the occasion tonight for sure. Um, uh, Cleveland State is very, uh, they're very uh, prolific offensively. They can they can put runs together real quick and, and get separation on you. So when they kind of pushed it to like 6-8, it, it, it was – a little bit worry, uh, a little bit worrisome, but uh, to to our kids' credit, like we we went back down and found a way to get a couple of possessions with scores to to tighten it back up. You know, with, with Emily fouling out in the final few minutes, you know, how did her kind of absence from the floor change? You know, how you guys you know wanted to do things in those final few minutes? Um, I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't say Em had her best offensive game tonight, um, but. Uh, they do have to account for her size. So when when you do have her out there, it, like everybody's kind of looking around, worried about where is she? Is she going to do this? Is she going to do that? So it's, if anything, at times it's nice to even have her as a decoy. But um, I mean, had some 
tricky calls that, that didn't necessarily go our way, but, uh, um, I didn't really want to leave her out and try to squeeze her back in, in the last two minutes. So we're just going to ride, ride with her. And it, it kind of backfired a little bit. First time you played them, forty-two point game. You know, obviously it was very different from how things played out tonight. I mean, just how is this game kind of emblematic of how far you guys have come since? I mean, that's a great point, Neil. Like we, I really feel like <clears throat> now, and really, really since January 18, 19, like we we've taken ownership of it, and we wanted to to have our stamp on things they're playing they're playing really confident um, <clears throat> um they're playing with a chip on their shoulder they're playing with a sense of finality so you know those are all things that you you hope to have late february and and i don't know that we had that the last couple of years um with with two really good teams we kind of died off at the end in in february so I like the direction this is heading, um, but we are we're we're two totally different teams than than I don't even remember the date of that back uh, back when we played Cleveland State at Cleveland. But uh, it's uh, it's refreshing to see it look like it does now versus what it did look like. Coach, lastly here, um, just how about that shot by Jalen in the third quarter? Yeah, it's a, a huge momentum swing for sure. Uh, we had a great crowd tonight. I mean, it was. It was loud, and it was one of the better crowds we've had uh, this year. Uh, and for her to hit that and put us up, uh, give us a lead at the end of the third, like it got pretty loud in here. So that that was that was cool to see. Um, but uh, we have we we needed to find a way to to have the have the lead at the end and not necessarily at the end of the third. Well, I mean, I, we talk about we talk about things, um, uh, what what we want to accomplish, and we talk about our goals and everything, and and uh, hopefully we we we're able to put ourselves in a position where we might be able to host a, a Horizon League home game next week. So uh, that would that would certainly be great, especially if it was a crowd that's like that. So um, no, I mean, we we continually talk about how we want things to look here at the end and, and keep uh, uh, keep reiterating that. So uh, I feel like they're listening. Um, and like I said, Cleveland State's a really good team and, and we, we battled tonight.